Hello everyone and welcome to Muse for You. This is John, your Adobe Muse instructor. And in this video, we're going to be going over the opacity scroll effect in Adobe Muse. Uh, so I've created this sample site here in Adobe Muse. And uh, just to kind of show you the opacity scroll effect. Uh, so I have this photography website. And if I scroll down, you can see these images kind of fade in into the website as I scroll down. Now that's all done through the opacity scroll effect and as you scroll up the images disappear. So it's a very slick uh, effect and it can really add a lot to your website. So I'll show you how I did that. This is the website here. I'm actually just going to recreate it uh, so I can explain the opacity scroll effect as I'm recreating the website. So I'm just going to go here and just create a new page. And the first thing I did was I added the, te added the text, excuse me. And there we go. Um, so I'm going to say photography and then return, scroll down. All right. And then I'm going to use one of these web fonts here. I think I used, uh, if I scroll up, I used monotone and make this 72 and make scroll down a little bit smaller, maybe 36, there we go. And we center it, all right. And actually one of the first things I did was I added the, uh, the full screen slideshow and just deleted all the images. So I'll, I'll go ahead and do that now. So go to object, insert widget, uh, slideshow, uh, full screen and just place it on the site. All right, and I'm gonna click and delete the image, click, delete the image, click, delete the image. Then I'm gonna click on the option here, add images, and I'm gonna add uh, the photography image right here, and I'm gonna take out the previous next and the counterpart there by just clicking these boxes. And so there we go, um, we have that. Now, because I created my text first and then I placed this uh, full screen slideshow on top, I'm going to have to go to my layers panel and put the text above the slideshow. And here's the text, and I'll just make it white. And there we go. And if I preview this in the browser, we have photography, we, and it says scroll down. And now what I did was... Um, I created a few uh, squares, 270 by 270 squares. So I select the rectangle tool, hold down shift to create a square, and then drag out and until I get 270 by 270. Okay, so there's our square. And all I did here was kind of scroll down a little bit, copy and paste. Oh, and I also took out the stroke off these squares. So select stroke and select none. And then I just placed each square one under the other and I put them exactly underneath each other and kind of followed this guideline here to the right and placed each square flush to the left and to the right of this inner guideline and then placed the square right below each square until I get that blue line showing me that the top of this square is aligned with the bottom of this square. All right, so now if I just copy these two and then paste uh, to Command C on a Mac and Command V to paste, Command C to copy and Command V to paste. All right, and I'll put these two right underneath this one. If I hit paste again, I'll put it right underneath here. And one more time, we'll have eight images. Is that eight? Yep, yeah, eight. All right, so there we have uh, eight uh, squares. And now what we need to do is fill them with images. So I'm going to go to fill and I'm just going to randomly select uh, a few images here. I'm going to scale them to fill, position them in the center, fill, add image, uh, let's take these coffee beans here, scale to fill, center it, uh, fill, add image, we'll pick uh, this, um, this computer here. Scale to fill, position in the center, uh, fill, add image, 
I will do this one here. Scale to fill. Center. Fill. Add image. Uh, dusty sky. Scale to fill. Fill. Add image. And uh, we'll do this one here. Scale to fill. There we go. And then fill. Add image. Do this one here. Scale to fill. There we go. Fill. Add image. And uh, we'll do. We'll do this one here. And then scale to fill and position it in the middle. Okay, so now I have my eight images. And if I preview this in the browser, uh, we can now see there's eight images there. All right, and the background here stays the same, so that's pretty cool. And so now we wanna get to the opacity scroll effect. Now to access the opacity scroll effect, uh, we're going to go to uh, scroll effects right over here to the right. And here we have motion scroll effect, opacity, slideshow, and edge animate. Uh, we want the opacity scroll effect. So I select this uh, object here, this uh, square. And I select the opacity, which is the second button in scroll effects. And I just click on opacity. Now what we get here is we get uh, a circle. We first get a circle. Then we get this uh, here, with, what is the key position. Um, this is the key position here. Sorry, I kind of said that weird. Uh, still getting used to doing video, so thanks for bearing with me. Um, so yeah, the key position is here. And then we have this another little circle here. So this circle, first circle is called fade position one. Then we have the key position, and then we have fade position two. Now, if we go over here to our opacity, we can see that fade position one has an opacity of zero. Uh, the key position has an opacity of 100, mean, meaning that it's 100% visible. And then the, the fade position two has an opacity of zero. So what's gonna happen is uh, when fade position one hits the top of the browser, uh, it's gonna start to fade in to 100% at this key position. And then uh, as it keeps scrolling, uh, it's going to fade out to zero because the fade position is at zero here. So from zero to 100, so it goes from fade position one, goes all the way to 100, and then it hits 100 right here when this hits the top of the browser, and then it, as it continues, it fades out to zero. So, um, so here we go, zero, 100%, and zero. So I want this first image to start fading in as soon as uh, the person starts scrolling. So I'm going to set the fade position to zero. Then as they scroll, 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 it's going to fade to 100%. And right when we get to a little bit below scroll down, we're going to see the image uh, pretty clearly. And then uh, I want it to fade out when this image is done, um, when this image is out of view. So it's going to fade out, it's going to continue to fade out until um, this image is no longer in view because once this fade position hits the top of the browser the uh, the opacity of this image is zero and we won't see it anymore so let's see how that looks like in the browser so if i hit command shift e uh, we can see we don't see the image but as soon as we start scrolling that image starts appearing so just picture the first fade position being kind of like right here and as I scroll, it hits the top right away and starts fading in. And then, like I said, a little bit below the scroll down, the key position is kind of like right here. And the key position is at 100%. Uh, 100% so we can see the image pretty clearly. And as we keep scrolling, the image starts to fade out to the fade position, which is right here. So when this fade position, which is at the bottom, which is right over here, when it hits the bottom, when this bottom hits the top of the browser, the image is going to have an opacity of zero, so it's going to fade out to zero, and we're not going to be able to see that image. And if we scroll back, it fades in and reverse, and voila, very good. So I'm going to do that for the rest of these images, just so we get some practice. Excuse me, sorry about that. Um, so what I'm going to do is click on opacity, 
And for this one, what I'm going to use as guides, I'm going to use the top of this uh, square, this image here, and the middle of the image, so that the this image is going to start fading in um, at the top of this image here. And actually, the uh, this image is going to be at 100% when um, the top of the browser is in the middle of this image. So uh, Muse is very cool in the sense that it gives you a guideline when you're in the middle of this image. So I'm going to put the key position exactly in the middle of this first image. And if you can see that blue line just kind of kicks in. Then I'm going to take this fade position here and just put it on top of the image. And I'm going to take the second fade position and put it at the bottom of this image. Because again, we want this image to disappear um, as, uh, as it fades from view. So we want it to be at zero. So, um, as it's no longer viewable. And the same here, we hit, we click on the image or the object, click opacity, and I'm gonna align the key position. Uh, just so you know, when you change the key position, the fade position one and fade position two move relative to the key position. So it's kind of a good idea to move the key position first and then move your fade positions. So I'm gonna move this key position to the middle of this image here and I'm gonna put the fade position to start at the top of this image and the fade out, the uh, fade position two to be at the bottom of this image. All right, so I'm just gonna move a little bit more quickly through the rest of these. Put this in the middle, fade, at, fade in at the beginning of this image, fade out at the end of this image. Click here, opacity, put it at the top. Oops, uh, key position in the middle of this image uh, top of this image, first fade position, second fade position at the bottom. All right, then this image, opacity, key position in the middle of this image here, and first fade position at the top of this image, or you can even say the bottom of this image, and then the second fade position at the bottom of the image, and then over here again, we click opacity, it here top of this image oops forgot to move the key position first so you can see the first fade position move so I have to move it back to the top of this one and then the fit second fade position right there we click this image opacity move it to the top of this one oh again I forgot the key position first move the key position to the middle of this image then the fade the fade position one move to to the top of this image and fade position two, move to the bottom. And I need to add some scroll space to, uh, to be able to see this last image um, clearly uh, in, in the website. So I've added all my opacity scroll effects. Now if I preview in the browser, command shift E. And if I scroll down, uh, for some reason we lost, um, our font there so let's try that again command shift E okay not sure why that's occurring uh, okay well in any case we'll just scroll down and see the opacity effect so I'm gonna scroll down and as you can see as I'm scrolling those images appear Very nice. And actually what I'm noticing is that these images appear a little bit too soon. Um, so what I want to do is take this first fade position and put it a little bit higher. So maybe to the, um, maybe two images before. So I'll take this one, put the fade position higher. Here I'll put the fade position higher. This one I'll put the fade position higher. And you can just use your objects as references to your different fade positions. If you see, I'm using the top and the bottom of all my images to kind of work with my fade positions. And this one, we'll just move a little bit higher, maybe like right there. All right, so if I command shift E and I scroll down, you can see these images start appearing a little bit, uh, kind of more in the middle of the site, which is kind of the desired effect. All right, so very good. Uh, that's opacity scroll effect. 
you know, you can play with it. It really adds uh, a really nice dynamic to your site. And again, if you even wanted to change the percentages, like let's say you wanted your image to be visible right away and then just fade out, instead of fading, uh, having the fade position one to be at zero, you can set it to 100. And if we command shift E in the browser, the image is gonna be viewable right away and then it'll just fade out. So I'll do that one more time here. All I did was change the uh, fade position value. Instead of zero, we set it to 100. So when the fade position kicks in, it's gonna be at a 100% opacity. Um, and it's already, yeah, it's gonna stay at 100% opacity and then it just fades out. These first two uh, are the ones we changed. So you can see we, we see them right away and then they just fade out and they fade back in. All right. And the other ones we had the fade position initially set to zero. So, so you don't initially see the image, then it fades in, then it fades out. All right, so we'll change these again, we'll set them back to zero. So it has that fade in and fade out effect. So command shift E, and then I scroll, fades in, fades out. And if you reverse, it does the same. All right, so that's pretty cool. Um, I think it works really well for this site actually with a photography site, because if you're a photographer, you can display your images in an interesting way <coughs> with uh, Adobe Muse. All right, thanks for watching. Um, and if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to explain. And I'll see you in the next video.